All right, Shalom. First and foremost, so I want to give all glory, honor, and praise unto my power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Hey, Shalom, know you sincere, the true believers. Uh, today's lesson, I want to go into uh, just be wary. I, I, I'm, I'm going to figure out the title, but um, I just want to go into uh, basically just, just watching what spirit you in and just uh, making sure when we preaching this word, it's not of envy and strife, it's of pure, just pure motives. Right, you know, because hey, you know, in this truth, a lot of times what can happen is, and I've seen it happen plenty of times, and it, it's just be them different demons. You know, what I'm saying you can fall victim to, you know, uh, wanting to push your own ambitions before uh, 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 the heavenly Father, and, and that and, and that can cause you to be in that envy and strife spirit, that competition spirit. You know, you start competing with brothers and or feeling like you deserve more than what uh, 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 your lot actually is, or feeling like you deserve what another brother has or, or, or whatever it be, man. You see what I'm saying? Like, we just got to be, you know, careful of these particular things. You see what I'm saying? These different emotions, which a lot of times they come from, you know, these different demons that be trying to hop on bros and sisters as well. All right. So I just want to grab this in Philippians, you know, just an exhortation for, you know, brothers, Akim and Akwa, just to stay in the right spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's why the, the scriptures talk about in Sirach, the 18th chapter, uh, examining yourself. You know what I'm saying? Before the day of judgment, and thou shalt find mercy. And that's the point, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you definitely want to be examining yourself and really just checking it, checking your own temperature and seeing what type of spirit you really in for real. Right? Uh, I'm gonna get this Philippians chapter one and verse uh verse 15. It says, Some indeed preach Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. All right, I'm gonna read this in the um in LT. It is true some are preaching out of jealousy and rivalry, but others preach about Hamashiach with pure, pure motives. So you got some people that, you know what I'm saying, they just want to, you know what I'm saying, it's about self-exaltation, you know, uh, about how many views I can get or how big can I be, how, how, how big can my name be in Israel or like out of rivalry or, you know what I'm saying, or out of some jealousy because, you know what I'm saying, oh no, this, this motherfucker think he deeper than me. I don't, you know, like some just weird demon spirit, you feel what I'm saying? And that be like a lot of times, like it don't really get touched on because it's like one of those awkward type of like, like elephant in the room type uh, uh, topics. But that's a real thing, man. And that and that be like the hit that them, them 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 demons be heavy, man. And I've seen I've seen guys fall out over it. There's one guy I knew in particular, and man, he I don't know where he at, man. You see what I'm saying? And, and that's a that's the point. That 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 competition demon can overtake you, man. You start, you know what I'm saying? And you could really start thinking of yourself more highly than you ought to think. You see what I'm saying? And that can cause you to what? Then have a great level of pride. You see what I'm saying? And then that'll cause the Heavenly Father to resist you, pursuing the James, the fourth chapter, right? So it says, verse uh, Philippians 1 and 15, it is true that some are preaching out of jealousy and rivalry, but others preach uh, about Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah with pure motives. So like that's just going into what? Envy and strife, right? The word strife goes into anger or angry or bitter, disagreement over fundamental issues conflicts friction discord right and an envy is what a feeling of discontent or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions qualities or luck right and that's the thing man so you like you looking at somebody else so you know what their lot is or what the heavenly father them blessed them with spiritually you know what i'm saying or whatever it be man you see what i'm saying and that can like overtake you sometimes especially like you know, with brothers, you know, because, you know, like as men, we prone to having like egos. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of times in this truth, man, uh, you know, that ego will get you in trouble and you really got to check your own ego. You see what I'm saying? And that's a part of what examining yourself, man. Right. And and that's the thing, man, because, you know, and, and, and really just staying focused on what you got. Stay focused, stay focused on who you are in the spirit. Right. Meaning like what you got going on in this uh, in, in the ministry. Right. And the scriptures even tell you to do that, man. Right. Let's go ahead and grab this in um in a, in the book of Galatians, right? And we're gonna see Galatians chapter six and verse three. It says, "I'm gonna start at verse three. It says, for if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself, right? But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another." So a lot of times, what happens is. You focus on somebody else's work or what they got going on in the spirit. So you can never be truly satisfied with what you got going on in the spirit and how the heavenly father's really increasing you. You'll never really uh 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 you'll never really be able to appreciate your growth 
or where have you come from because you always looking at somebody else and we always got to check that type of spirit you see what i'm saying because that's really what america promotes you see what I'm saying? you looking at the next man and seeing what he got and being envious of that or oh shit man this, this, this brother know how to break down such and such you know what i'm saying okay cool you know what i'm saying turn up and if you and, and if you're not on that you may it, see look it goes into like first corinthians the 12th chapter we all having you know, different administrations, you see what I'm saying? And, 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 and we're all different members of that one body. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of times what happens is a brother or, you know, a sister may, may realize that you are a certain member of the body and you want to be the other part of the body. Like, shit, well, your part is needed, man. And I don't want to I'll go into that, right? But let's let's finish this out. I'm going to read this in the KJV, right? I mean, in the NLT real quick because I like how I break it down. And these are things that people like that brothers and sisters need to like understand and making sure you in the right spirit on this, man, because it, it can it can jack you up, man. Right. It says pay careful attention. Uh, Galatians six and four. It says I'm going to start at verse three again. If you think that you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself. You are not that important. Right. Verse four. Right. It says pay careful attention to your own work. Right. So a lot of times what happens is you'll have guys. Now, you definitely want to. uh you know, uh, 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 you know, make sure you, you know, you, you, be, you be your brother's keeper and making sure, you know, the flock is good and different things like that, you know, but what can happen is you can get too consumed in other people's uh, affairs and not your own. You see what I'm saying? And to the point where it can lead you to have a competition spirit. Oh shit. I'm doing more than this brother. Oh, I'm doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, you, I'm, I'm obviously better. Hey, hey listen, that, that that don't mean nothing if you're not in the right spirit. You see what I'm saying? So we all have to be aware of these particular things and these these intrusive demons that, that come in our minds. It says, pay careful attention to your own work. For then will you get the satisfaction of a job well done. And you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. For we are each responsible for our own conduct. You see? So that's the point, man. Right? Pay careful attention to your own work. You see what I'm saying? Because ultimately, if you're always comparing yourself to someone else, you'll never be truly satisfied or content with what you have. Never. You'll be in a, a resentful, rivalry-filled rival, uh, spirit, jealous spirit, envious spirit. You'll, you'll be in that type of spirit, and that's not the correct spirit that you want to be in, man. Right? And then that'll lead you to doing things that you really shouldn't do, man. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of times that's rooted in, like, wanting vain glory. You see what I'm saying? And what does the book of Galatians say, right? I got this, Galatians 5 and 26. It says, let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another and envying one another. So that's the point, man. So we don't want to be, right, going back into that word for envying, a feeling of discontent or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions or qualities or luck, right? So we don't want to be envious, man. We don't want to have that type of spirit. And we don't want to be uh, also desirous of vain glory, right? Let me, let me see what that word vain goes into, right? Like, basically, like, pointless. Having or showing undue or excessive pride in one's appearance or achievements, right? Really, all right, so uh, it says marked by futility or infectual, uh, infectiousness, unsuccessful, useless. Yeah, so basically, use, useless stuff, man, is vain. It's vanity, right? So we use, uh, you know, uh, basically, like, the praise of men. Now, all times, does it feel good when some when people give you praise? Hell yeah, it feel, feel good. You know what I'm saying? We we designed that way. We, we you know we wired, but it's to the point where you start seeking your own vain glory instead of the glory of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Look at how righteous I am, brothers, sisters. You know what I'm saying? I fast seven days a week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you never know what Jake be on, man. But you know what I'm saying? That that's the that's the thing. You don't want to be in that type of spirit. Like the best spirit to just be in is the is just. Hey, hey, the water y'all bashing y'all shy, man. Hey, hey, call on like y'all bashing y'all shy. The praise go be to the heavenly Father. You see what I'm saying? And just being that cool, kind spirit. Hey, look, man, it's another day. Get it done, and 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 move on about your business. You see what I'm saying? That's that's the best way, man. Just keep it cool, calm, and collected, right? You know what I'm saying? Put in, you know, those own desires that you want and those vain filled, you know, vain glory desires. Hey, put that to the side, man. That shit is that shit is whack, right? So, so that's the thing, man. You know what I'm saying, right? And, and you know, hey, it, look, it, 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 it can happen to the best of us, right? It don't mean you wicked and nothing like nothing like that. Like you know, it's, you know what I mean. You, you know, a brother could get caught up. Hey, put that, push it to the side and keep pushing. Now, if you remain in that type of spirit, then you never, you know, then, then then that's something to be said, right? That's something you know, that's something to be said. But let's get this right. 
because this is the type of spirit that we're supposed to be in, right? It says um, Hebrews 10 and 24. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works. That's the spirit that we want to be in, man. Right? Just doing right by the Heavenly Father, provoking one another unto good works, not provoking another brother or sister, you know, to envy and, you know, not envying one another and not preaching for strife or rivalry or jealousy or none of that type of stuff, man. Like those things, you know, can, can, can really jack you up, man. Like I said, I done seen a guy. He came in, you know, he like he wanted to he wanted to be on the level of some elders and i'm like what the f like bro you 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 bro you new to this bro like slow your roll lot like i want to be breaking down such and such hey it takes time you see what i'm saying and when you start comparing yourself and start thinking of yourself more highly than you ought to think you can put crazy burdens upon yourself that ain't nobody even checking on you like that you see what i'm saying it's like it's like you could be thinking everybody look <laughs> Oh yeah, or, you know what I mean? Watch, hey, listen, ain't nobody even on you like that. You see what I'm saying? And you and you going crazy in your mind because these demons is making up all these different scenarios. Now bugging you the hell out, man. You see what I'm saying? I got this right here, Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet the bread, of, uh, 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 neither it's like it, and neither yet bread to the wise nor riches to to, to men of understanding, right? Yet favored to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them also, right? This going on two things I want to touch on on this, right? Showing you that, hey, what each and every one of us is blessed with, it all comes from the Heavenly Father. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, look, you like, hey, 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 understanding that, right? You just got to be thankful for what you got, right? And then also, like the whole point of the race is not given to the soul. Because like just giving that example, I know a guy, man. He, I don't know where he at, man. I don't know where he at now. I, I don't. I don't know his channel or not, none of that, man. He was preaching the word strong, and when he came in, man, he was. He 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 always had that competition spirit. He, he always would talk about that, and and then even though you know what I'm saying, like he would say that it would be gone. That shit, you you'll still see the remnant of it there. It's just like, and and, and look at him now. You see what I'm saying? And it's the and this is just a warning for for Akim and Akwak to just check that spirit, man. Like check that and make sure you're just in the right spirit. You see what I'm saying? You know, because, hey, look, he wanted to come in and, you know, start consuming uh, meat versus the milk. You see what I'm saying? Because he felt like in himself he had to be, you know, on a certain level, you know, too soon. When, like, anybody who's been in this for a little bit know that it takes time, man. You see what I'm saying? And it ain't ain't no rush. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I mean by that, I'm not saying that we here forever. I'm talking about, hey, listen, like, take it step by step. You see what I'm saying? If the Heavenly Father wants you to get there. And the time that we have left, you're gonna get there. If not, then it ain't for you, right? Straight up, and that's cool. Just do what you do, 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 do the best what you can with the measure that the Heavenly Father gave you. Plain and simple, man. That's it. Can't, like you know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that's he. That's what the Heavenly Father saw fit to gave you, right? Let's get this in First Corinthians 12. Let's get that right, because uh, it talks about it, man. And it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful chapter. Spiritual gifts, right? This is Paul. First Corinthians 12 and verse three. So I want you to know that no one's speaking by the spirit. All right, it's like, I'm, I'm going to skip now. Um, verse four says, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit is the source of them all, right? And this is in the NLT. There are different kinds of service, but we all serve the same power, right? The heavenly father works in different ways, but is the same power who does the work in all of us. A spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. To one person, the spirit gives the ability to give wise advice. To another, the same spirit, uh, a message of special knowledge. And that's the thing, right? And see, that's the thing. You you will have brothers that are more knowledgeable than other brothers. And that may be his lot. You can't get jealous of that man because he, he, he knowledgeable, he quick with it, he swift with it. That's his lot. Hey, you may be a brother that you might just give great advice, but he may be sharp as hell in, in the scriptures, may give, you know, uh, 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 maybe be able to give accurate information like, like all of this knowledge boom 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 but he might suck at, at, at giving wise advice and that that might like see I, i've had it where there's brothers that i'll go to just for scriptures and there's another brother that he might not be the coldest in the scripts but i'll go to this brother for wise advice and the advice that that brother gonna give is, is way sharper than another brother that got the knowledge you see what i'm saying and that's how it be man like now how would it be if both of them hating that's weird you see what i'm saying oh shit he think he's so wise with his advice the other brother think, oh, he's so wise with his knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, nah, bro, we all got different gifts, and that's what make the body beautiful, man. You see what I'm saying? 
right? So it says verse eight, to one person, the spirit gives the ability to give wise advice. To another, the same spirit gives the message of special knowledge. The same spirit gives great faith to another. And, it's, and to someone else, the spirit who gives the gift of healing. And that's another thing, man. These are all gifts. Because you can have, just because somebody got a great amount of wise advice or a brother got a great you know, uh, amount of special knowledge, doesn't mean that he has great faith. You see what I'm saying? He may have faith, but hey, there, there might be another brother. This brother just got faith, man. You see what I'm saying? And with that faith, he's able to exhort you to have more faith as well. You see what I'm saying? So these are all gifts, man, right? Let me see. He gives someone else the, uh, 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 the ability to, to, uh, to discern whether a message from the spirit of the heavenly father or from another spirit. Like, me personally, like, you know what I'm saying? I may not be the best at, like, a brother, you know, come to me with a dream. I'm interpreting that dream. I, I heard some brothers interpret dreams. And I'm like, damn, that shit, that make, that make perfect fucking sense. And I'm like, yeah, I ain't think of that. You see what I'm saying? That's a gift, man. These are all gifts, right? Let me see. Uh, verse verse 11, it says, it is, it is the one and only spirit who distributes all these gifts. He alone decides which gift to give each person. It's like it, he alone decides which gift each person should have. So the part of the matter is the fact that you have a, a, a particular gift, a particular office in this ministry, that was the Heavenly Father that saw fit to give you. So how would you be despising that gift or envying another person for their gift and like really like looking looking at your gift is like 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 looking evil, having an evil eye towards your own gift? You see, because that's what happened when you really like on some like envious like tip. You really not happy with your portion. You see what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and that can cause like bitterness, man. And that can cause one to like, to, to fall out the truth, man. And that's, that's not where we want to be at in these particular times. You see what I'm saying? Let me see any more on that. Right? I mean, I, I, want, I want to get this, right? Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 16. Uh, verse 14, it says, for, for the body is not one member, but many. It's in the KJV. If the foot shall say, because I am not a hand, I am not of the body, is the foot, it's like, it, 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 is there, is therefore not of the body, right? So the point is, man, you're a foot, but you're saying, because I'm not a hand, I'm not important, you're tripping. Hey, you can't walk without your feet. And if you got feet, but you ain't got no hands, hey, you can't, you can't, you, you, you can't pick nothing up. Hey, it's both of those working together in unison that makes you a full, healthy individual. You see what I'm saying? It says, and if the ear shall say, because I am not an eye, I am not of the body, is therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? So if everybody's a, a, a freaking eyeball, right? Where, how you gonna hear something, man? You gonna you gonna be you gonna be uh you gonna be deaf? If the whole body were an eye, when were the hearing? And if the whole and if the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? So who, somebody got to be the nose, right? But now have the heavenly father set the members, every one of them in a body as if that pleased him. So everybody that has a particular office, the heavenly father puts you in that particular office. So be happy with it, man, and grow that thing. And the heavenly father might bless you with another ability. That's how it go. Verse 19. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now, Salaka, but now are they many members, but yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the hand to the feet. I have no need of you, right? But the point of the matter is, can't no other body part, can't no person, and it's true because you ain't got their particular gift, say you, 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 you useless in this. I don't heard guys talk like that, man. That shit is arrogant as, that's arrogant as hell, bro. <laughs> you useless, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, like whatever that brother portion is. Now you do have people that are lukewarm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a fact, but I'm saying like, brother pushing with what he got, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like who, how dare you? say to someone else that that particular uh, person's ministry, lot in this ministry is useless. Nah, bro. The Heavenly Father made everybody the way they're supposed to be. You see what I'm saying? So so just be happy and consent with your portion and, and, and just rock out, man. You see what I'm saying? So that's the message for the day, man. You know, just be wary of envy and strife, preaching of envy and strife. Check your spirit. Make sure you know what type of spirit you're in and, and, and just examine. This goes for each and every one of us, man. And this is a daily and continual thing, man. Like, right? So I racked up the 18 and verse 20. Before judgment, examine thyself. In the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. And at the end of the day, that's what we want. We want the mercy, man. We want to make it to the kingdom. And that's what it's about. It's not about us 
or you know what man you trying to please or what you what you trying to think you deserve in this truth or what office you think you should have or what you know what i'm saying what, what what fame or nobility you feel like you deserve all that man it ain't about that bro it's about yahweh why yahweh shot and that's the spirit that we got to be in and got to maintain right so with that i don't want to write this all you sincere the true believers were edified exhorted and comforted and i want to say i want to give all glory and praise unto my power yahweh by Hashem, yahweh shy shalom on all you sincere the true believers y'all keep fighting y'all can uh, and y'all keep pushing shalom